Dundon? You remember me? I do. Okay. The previous one is say hi.
No, it's not that bad. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome. Good afternoon. My name is Jeff Petty, and I'm so honored and privileged to serve as the principal of Highline Big Picture. Welcome to our 15th graduation ceremony for the class of 2023. Thank you to all of our families and staff for being present today to participate in this celebration of these young folks. Joining us today, we have our superintendent, Dr. Ivan Duran. Our Instructional Leadership Executive Director, a.k.a. my boss, Jacqueline Downey. Um, from the Highline School District Board of Directors, Carrie Howell. And supporting us from the Central Office, our Chief Financial Officer, Jackie Bryan. Also joining us, I think somewhere out there, I want to acknowledge some big picture staff who have um, been an important part of a lot of the journeys of these students. Uh, I believe attending somewhere is Stan Harrison. Oh, and I see them now sitting in a little cluster, um, left to right, Phil McGilton. Uh, Bev Pecoraro. <laughs> Connor Pollum. <laughs> and Mia Malekarov. And before we proceed, I want to particularly recognize one staff member here today who started, at work, started working at Highline Big Picture in 2004, before we were a school, has been here ever since. He's been a huge contributor to everything we've done since then. He's often the most thanked person at these graduation ceremonies. And since 2009, he's been an incredible advocate for not only all of our students on campus, but consistently the fifth year, the sixth year seniors who are um, taking a little bit more time to graduate. And if there's anyone who more consistently walks the values that we're trying to stand for as a school, I would love to meet them. Uh, please join me in honoring, because this is his last graduation as a big picture staff member, Dan Dundon. Thank you. As we transition into the ceremony, please rise and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by our land acknowledgement. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And I will now share our Highline land acknowledgement, and then I'll turn it over to McKenna Judy, who's going to guide us through the rest of graduation.
We begin by acknowledging that we are on the ancestral land stewarded since time immemorial by the Salish people of the Duwamish, Green, White, Cedar, and Upper Puyallup rivers, many of these giving birth to the contemporary citizens of the Muckleshoot Indian tribe. We honor and give thanks that we are able to collectively engage in this conversation on their sacred homelands about the future of teaching and caring for our sacred children and youth. And I'm now turning it over to McKenna Judy. Okay. I'm gonna wait a little bit. All right. Um, hello everyone, as you just heard, my name is McKenna Judy. I'm a member of the graduating class of 2023. Give a round of applause for them. Um, today, for this amazing celebration, we have a few students that would like to share something of themselves with all of you. These next few students are some of the most funniest and smartest people that I know and they will be gracing us with either a heartwarming speech or a fantastic performance. Don't be afraid to clap or make noise if you like a part of what they share. To start us off, our first graduate, Mahadi al Shabawi. Um, thank you, McKenna, for introducing me. As you guys all may know, my name is Mahadi al -Sabawi. You know, a quote I always go by is, a life spent making mistakes is not only more honorable, but more useful than a life spent doing nothing. Our class of 2023 has made countless mistakes, but with every mistake we've made along the way, we learned and we grew from it. This is truly a special class in school, from the students to the advisors to the teachers. You know, I remember the first day I arrived at Big Picture. I was in class and it felt like I was on a completely different planet. Just seeing the vibes, the smiles, to the hilarious arguments, I could tell this was a complete change from my previous high school. The two years I was at Big Picture, I stayed to myself as much as I could. I tried focusing on making it to this day, not talking to too many people, not saying too much, not participating in too many activities. But then it hit me when I was watching Ferris Boiler's Day Off. He said, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you can miss it. And I know everyone in this room has heard that quote, but for some reason, when I said it in the movie, it just hit me in a different way. And I started to realize I was so focused and caught up in work and life, I forgot to make time and enjoy it. And then it all, and then after that all happened, I began to socialize with my classmates and get more involved in class activities. Now I look back at all of the times where I wish I could have had fun, I wish I watched that darn movie sooner. Now, I don't see them anymore as just classmates. I truly see them as friends and some of my closest friends. Now I'd like to take this time to thank all our teachers and advisors for what they've taught us. I'd like to thank Connor for always making sure everyone was on top of their work during junior year. I'd like to thank Ms. Johnson for never giving up on nobody and always pushing us to get to the finish line. Ms. Rupert for motivating everyone when they felt unmotivated or at their lowest, she was always there. Ed for being real and honest to whomever, we all need someone like that. Off topic, we do have a basketball game coming up, it's a one-on-one, -on -one, so if anyone would like to place any bets, talk to me after this. Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Dan the man for teaching us that we all need a struggle in life in order to learn. He said you have to allow yourself to struggle. Also, Dan is graduating with us, meaning he's retiring, so give him a round of applause. Quick shout out to Crystal for always coming through when anyone needed her. I'd also like to thank my friends and family for being here and pushing me to get, be the best. Last but not least, I want to say thank you to the class of 2023 for an amazing year. We did it, y'all. Let's get a round of applause for class 2023. Woo! Ka All right. Thank you. Awesome. That was amazing, Mahadi. Another round of applause for him, please. All right, to introduce our next graduate, Nevaeh Watson. Thank you, McKenna. Hi, my name is Nevaeh. Well, big picture class of 2023, we have completed our journey of high school, middle school, and even elementary school to now into the new chapter of adulting, where we learn about working, going to college, or trade school, and do one thing that scares us the most, bills. 
Each of us here should be filled with love, joy, and pride for the journey it took for all of us to get here. From the ups, downs, from getting new teachers, dealing with COVID, to Mia trying to get from Daniel from under the table, to the opening mics that Henry put together, to all that I and a few BSU members here in the audience have put together, This very moment right here, and even though we may or may not be in contact with each other, after this, we will all remember the journey it took to get here, right here to this very moment. We did it, class of 2023! All right, thank you, Nevea. That was a great speech. Man, the journey it has been. Next up is Henry Morgan. Hello, uh, as you just heard, my name is Henry Morgan. I'm a 401 at Big Picture, as you could probably guess from the silly gown and the dumb hat. Um, uh, I'll just jump right into it, I suppose. Uh, when I first stepped onto Big Picture campus four years ago, I had no idea what was in store for me and the rest of my cohort. Between a global pandemic that fractured our first two years into a chaotic digital mess and a series of unfortunate events that led to us changing advisors more times than I can count on a single hand, one would not expect uh, a washed up gifted kid like me to make it this far. Um, and yet, while the road has been long and hard in more ways than you can know, uh, here I am on this stage talking to all of you. Uh, in these past four years, I have gone through some of the darkest times in my life so far, full of self-doubt, grief, and despair. But I have also experienced my fair share of triumphs. Through big picture, I have grown as a leader, as an artist, and if you'll ex excuse the cliche, as a person. I have worked with mentors that have challenged me in ways I never have been before. I have discovered new passions and interests that have enriched my life in ways I cannot emphasize enough. And I have made friendships that I hope will last a lifetime. And I am not alone in this. While I have only my own story to tell, I can say without a shadow of a doubt that every other person who's walked across the stage tonight has a story just as rich and meaningful as mine, if not more so. In that same vein, uh, I think some thank yous are well deserved. I am forever thankful for all the people who have supported me through these last four years, for my mentors for helping me with through my many projects and putting up with my many uh, let's say, idiosyncrasies. Uh, for my advisors, all five of them, yikes, um, for guiding me through the various stages of my schooling and of my life, each in their own unique ways, and for inspiring me to do my very best, even when it was hard. To my friends, beloved and adored, for keeping me sane and bringing me joy through good times and bad, lighting up my life in ways I can only start to comprehend. And finally, for my parents, for helping me to shape the person I am today. I could not ask for better parents, and I am eternally grateful for all the unwavering love and support they've shown me. And I hope, more than anything, that I have made them proud. In some ways, I am nervous about leaving my adolescence behind, but at the same time, I am confident that the future is bright. For us who have gone through struggle after struggle, who have been scraped and bruised, dented and marred, and still come out the other side, gleaming brighter than when we started. There is no doubt in my mind that there is nothing in this world that could keep us down. Thank you. All right, thank you, Henry. That was a grand speech. Nothing in this world can keep us down. Now we'll be hearing from Jalen Diamond Swanson. Thank you, McKenna, for introducing me. Um, I was at Big Picture for six years, and they were the weirdest, funniest, and best years of my life. Um, there, were, there were so many challenges that we all faced together uh, through our years in high school that we got through using the strongest of mindsets and the dumbest of jokes. <laughs> there were times I genuinely didn't believe that I would make it to this stage today, 
And I'm sure a lot of people up here with me didn't always believe they could get here either. But to all of my friends up here who fought through everything in their lives that went against them to get to this point, I'm so proud and happy seeing you all get here. All, you, all of you have struggled and succeeded alongside me. <laughs> and you did it while smiling and laughing and saying some of the dumbest things I've ever heard. I'll still never forget when Nolan said <laughs> you could buy 8% milk at the grocery store. <laughs> we've had fights, we've had new people join and old people leave. And it would be ignorant to say we always got along. But one thing that never changed was that I've always seen this as my second family. If it wasn't for all the people up here with me today, I might not have made it to this stage. And so, shout out to my classmates, shout out to Big Picture, and my family, I love you, and you guys are cool too, I guess. Um, <laughs> thank you all for showing up. Right. Thank you, Jalen. That was a perfect speech. Man, 8% milk. All right. Now on to the last graduate, a good friend of mine, a preview of the next Broadway star. You saw him here first. You saw him here first, folks. Alex McDuffie. Hello. I didn't want to write a speech, and I do a lot of performances, so I'm going to do a performance. Can I have track two, please? Now is the time to seize the day Stare down the odds and seize the day Minute by minute That's how you win it We will find our way but let us seize the day. Courage cannot erase our fears. Courage is when we face our fears. Tell those with power, safe in their tower, we will not obey. Behold the brave battalion that stands side by side, too few in number, but too proud to hide. Then say to the others who did not follow through, you're still our brothers and we will fight for you. Time to seize the day Stare down the odds and seize the day Once we've begun If we stand as one Someday become somehow And a pair becomes a vow Thank you, Alex. Beautiful way to finish off our graduate presentations. I would just like to thank all of you for coming to this graduation. And go class of 2023. All right, back to you, Jeff. Thank you, McKenna. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we're now at the maybe the most exciting part of big picture graduations, the presentation of diplomas. Um, so I think we're going to get help wheeling out a table full of diplomas. And each graduate has lots of friends and relatives here. So I want to, um, I don't think I can say this. Let's celebrate all of our graduates. And I want to remind you that um, at the processional at the end, please stay seated until um, the graduates have processed out. 
presenting the diplomas. Man, you heard some recognitions of them earlier. If anyone faced a massive challenge this year and stepped up to it with incredible courage and love, uh, the 401 advisors who joined us at the beginning of this year, Johnson and Rupert, are going to present the diplomas. McKenna Judy. <laughs> Alex McDuffie. Can I interrupt with a little process timeout? Sure. Historically, we oh. introduce the graduate, and then you get to read your cool remarks about them. Oh, yeah, that part. Yeah. Cool remarks. Thank you. We might have to back up. Yeah, let's back it up. Back it up, back it up. <laughs> it's my first time at a big picture graduation. <laughs> McKenna Judy, when I say that none of the special moments this senior year would have been possible without McKenna, I mean it literally. McKenna has had a passion for event planning that she has used her entire high school career, but she is so much more than an event planner extraordinaire. She is passionate about building community, being a leader in a wide variety of seminars, helping people realize their plans and dreams. McKenna strives to bring joy to all people she encounters. This year, McKenna assembled her own internship and STP project, pulling working professionals in architecture, interior design, and restaurant empires to develop the structure, concept, and business plan for her own environmentally sustainable bed and breakfast. McKenna is admitted to the prestigious Foster School of Business at University of Washington as a freshman, where she will continue to pursue her dream of opening and operating her own hospitality business. Congratulations. <laughs> Alex McDuffie. Alex has always wanted to be an actor, and he came to Big Picture to follow that passion. Alex has had a variety of internships, diving into film, production work, musical scoring and composition, and script writing, as well as performing as Davy and Newsies, Piercy Jackson in The Lightning Thief, Maui and Moana, and the title character in Sweeney Todd with both Village Theater and the Highliners. This year, Alex taught an improvisational theater class for ages 11 to 17 at Glendale Lutheran School and put on his own improv show as a fundraiser for the Highliners. Alex will continue to pursue his passion studying theater at Western Washington University this fall. Congratulations, Alex. Nevea Watson. <laughs> Nevea's interests include dance, makeup, and nails. She has had internships at various personal wellness sites, and her last internship, Riku Spa, has even hired her. Aside from her personal interests, Nevea has also been a leader on campus through her service in the Black Student Union and in school governance. Nevea will be studying cosmetology at Evergreen Beauty School and dreams of one day owning her own business.
Bella Wammer. <laughs> Bella joined Big Picture halfway through her freshman year with an intense interest in veterinary sciences. After a shadow day observing surgery on an adorable kitten and investigating animal shelters, Bella shifted her focus to the arts. <laughs> She began creating her own art, drawing, painting, and music, taking lessons studying voice, piano, and ukulele. Bella will be attending Western Washington University, majoring in music education, and plans an additional career performing opera. <laughs> Roxanne Plettenberg. Roxanne came to Big Picture during the height of COVID in her 201 year. She was interested in becoming a medical examiner. Being the height of COVID, finding professionals available for mentorship was a challenge to say the least. During COVID shutdowns, Roxanne and her family began gardening. This COVID hobby sparked Roxanne's passion for plants. Her senior thesis project was revitalizing our school garden to provide fresh produce for Big Picture families. Roxanne will be taking her green thumbs to Evergreen's State Un University to pursue botany. <laughs> Daniel Mozo Salazar. Daniel was recommended to do Big Picture due to his interest in cars and automotive. However, when he got here, he ended up working with children. He enjoys working with them and even is considering becoming a teacher in the future. He interned as a reading partner at Beverly Park Elementary and as an online tutor at Gregory Heights. In his 401 year, Daniel's interest in business was sparked by his internship at House of Abundance. Finally, he came full circle, gaining another internship at Wire Automotive. Daniel will be studying business at South Seattle College. I deserve it! Eddie Kitagua. Eddie has been an integral part of the big picture community since his seventh grade year. Known for his infectious sense of humor, boundless energy, and unwavering honesty, Eddie has always brought a unique and vibrant presence to the community. His senior year served as a testament to his commitment to authenticity as he fearlessly embraced his true self and allowed it to shine through in his senior thesis project. With a charismatic blend of humor, energy, and honesty, Eddie continues to leave a lasting impact on those around him, inspiring others to be true to themselves and embrace their own authenticity. Paul Pablo Johnson. Pablo came to Big Picture interested in being an EMT. However, once he was here, he discovered his passion for art through an internship at Totem Star doing music production. He continued his explorations in art through experiences at the residency. For his senior project, Pablo created his own book using the traditional Japanese four-hole bookbinding techniques, which he filled with original art and poetry. He says poetry, quote, changed the dark into light, and now that I want to find the light and peace, it's hard to be happy and stay happy. Pablo will attend the new pre-apprenticeship program after high school and work towards his dream of being a self-sustaining independent artist.
Nardos Kasahun. <laughs> Nardos is an exceptional individual who embodies the qualities of deep observation, outspokenness, and courage. Her commitment to making a positive impact on the lives of others is evident through her internships at the King County Juvenile Detention Center and Thorndike Elementary. At both placements, she took the initiative to create curriculum specifically designed to enhance the social and emotional well-being of the children she worked with. Nardos is a true pillar of the community, consistently staying true to herself and embracing authenticity. As she heads to Evergreen Beauty College, Nardos will continue to commit herself to uplifting others. Nandini Singh. Nandini is an ambitious and hardworking student who is deeply committed to carving her path as a powerful woman in the world of business. With an unwavering determination to succeed, she consistently pushes herself towards new heights, embracing challenges and opportunities for growth. Her relentless work ethic and dedication to excellence have set her on a trajectory to attend the prestigious Foster School of Business at the University of Washington in the fall, where she plans to further her knowledge and skills in pursuit of her entrepreneurial aspirations. Nandini's unwavering commitment to her goals, combined with her passion for empowering women in the business realm, positions her as a future leader, ready to make a significant impact on the business world. Mary Frances Beasley. Mary is a versatile individual with an extensive range of interests that fuel her thirst for knowledge and personal growth. As an active member of her Masonic youth group, Mary values community engagement and the bonds of friendship she forms within this organization. Her commitment to self-discovery and personal development drives her to immerse herself in various projects allowing her to gain invaluable insights and expand her horizons. Stephanie Alconini Castillo. Yeah! Stephanie has been a member of the big picture community since seventh grade. In that time, Stephanie's interests have primarily focused around science, technology, engineering, and math. She's had a variety of projects, including teaching optometry and forensics to second graders at Gregory Heights Elementary. Stephanie is graduating with an Associates of Arts degree from Highline College, and Stephanie will be attending the University of Washington, Seattle, as a pre-science student. Congratulations, Stephanie. Yeah. Lauren Ride. <laughs> Known for her unwavering dedication, dependability, and strong work ethic, Lauren's commitment to her goals and her ability to stay focused and motivated make her a force to be reckoned with. At the core of Lauren's values lie her deep-rooted belief in feminism and the progression of women's rights. Woo. She recognizes the importance of equality and fairness in society and strives to make a positive impact in this realm. With a passion for social justice, Lauren actively participates in various feminist initiatives, 
seeking to challenge norms, raise awareness, and empower women from all walks of life. <laughs> Lauren's journey will continue at Western Washington University, where she plans to further her education and contribute to the university community. Ricardo Alejandre Lopez. Yeah. Ricardo has explored a variety of interests during his time at Big Picture. He started out with landscaping with a focus on native plants. He began to explore the world of stock markets and investing. He volunteered at Highline Food Bank supporting the community during COVID. In 401 year, Ricardo's interest turned to barbering. He was especially interested in haircuts as community and connection building. He devised a plan to cut hair for unhoused and homeless people as well as seniors, reaching out to some of the most marginalized people in our community. Ricardo's compassion and empathy will serve him well as he goes into the world giving stylish cuts to the people. <laughs> Ivan Medina Martinez. Okay. Ivan is a gifted mechanic whose experience extends far beyond repairing machines. He possesses the mind and skills of an engineer, combining technical knowledge with unique ability to simplify complex concepts for others to understand. Ivan approaches every task with meticulous attention to detail, ensuring that his work is executed with precision and care. Alongside his technical prowess, he also exudes kindness going above and beyond to assist and support those around him. Ivan's dedication to his craft and his passion for problem solving will undoubtedly flourish as he pursues his studies at Renton Technical College, setting him on a path towards a successful and fulfilling career in mechanics. Brandon Juarez. <laughs> Throughout his time at Big Picture, Brandon has continued to have a wide array of interests that reflect his insatiable appetite for knowledge. From delving into the depths of marine sciences to immersing himself in the world of art, culture, and automotive, he embodies a true Renaissance spirit. Brandon's artistic abilities shine through his talent as an artist, where he captivates others with his creative expressions. With an upcoming enrollment at Renton Technical College in the fall, Brandon is poised to further explore and refine his passions, channeling his diverse interests into a fulfilling educational journey that will undoubtedly shape his future endeavors. Luna John Jitterat. <laughs> Luna was drawn to big picture because of the ability to pursue her interests. Luna completed her Taekwondo instructor training this year and is now a certified assistant instructor. While teaching has been present in her life, Luna's true passion is being a creative. She has been a creator since sixth grade. At Big Picture, Luna has created various costumes and foam pieces utilizing both hand and machine sewing. Luna has mastered the art of the interview and spoken with a wide variety of creative professionals. 
This year, she has worked passionately to create plans to launch her own creative business after graduation. Henry Morgan. Henry wanted us to describe him as the definition of a washed up gifted kid. But nothing could be further from the truth. Henry has accomplished so much in his time at Big Picture. He has been deeply involved with writing and poetry, from Youth Speaks to the Youth Poet Laureate program to morning circles and exhibition feedback, Henry has a way with words. Henry is especially proud of his work enacting restorative justice on campus and school governance. Henry plans to continue bringing his influence to the world pursuing studies in anthropology, poetry, and creative writing at Western Washington University. Damon Taylor. Hello. Hi there. What's up? What's up, Damon? Damon is a remarkable individual known for his giving nature, caring demeanor, and unwavering honesty. Last year, he embarked on an internship with Fox Plumbing, where he gained valuable experience in the plumbing industry. This year, while exploring various arenas, Damon dedicated his time to volunteering at the local food bank, showcasing his commitment to serving his community. Despite his diverse experiences, Damon remains resolute in his career path and will continue to pursue a future in plumbing. His genuine care for others, coupled with his dedication and honesty, make him a trustworthy and reliable individual. With his selfless attitude and passion for making a difference, Damon is sure to excel in his chosen field and positively impact the lives of those he serves. <clears throat> Carlos Lopez Diaz. Carlos's enthusiasm for studying old dead things, particularly dinosaurs, is contagious, and he effortlessly shares his passion with literally everyone he encounters, whether they ask him to or not. His charisma, sense of adventure, and curiosity have allowed him opportunities that most teenage boys don't get to experience, such as unearthing a triceratops skull in the desert in Montana. His dedication and commitment to his field have earned him a well-deserved scholarship to Mon Montana State University, where he will continue to pursue his interests in dinosaur science. Carlos's boundless curiosity and exper expertise in the life sciences promise a future filled with groundbreaking discoveries and a profound impact on our understanding of prehistoric life. Connor Rice. Connor began his time at Big Picture with an interest in law enforcement, then mechanics, until he is introduced to business by a former advisor. With that introduction, something just clicked. Although Connor aspired to be our only graduate without ever having had an internship, he experienced a wildly successful internship with an e-commerce store, including launching his own eBay store, which has had $1,800 in sales already. Congratulations to our next business mogul, Connor.
Mahari Ashibawi. Mahadi came to Big Picture to unlock opportunities that his other schools could not. He's initially interested in cars and restored a 2015 Dodge Challenger RT for his project in 301 year. <laughs> a trip to Iraq and Turkey sparked his interest in community building and exploring culture. This evolved into an interest in becoming a barber and mentoring programs. For his senior project, Mahadi designed a teen mentoring program at Pacific Middle School. Mahadi plans to attend either Bellevue or Green River College to study mechanical engineering. Congratulations, Mahadi. Radio Gavalinsky. Radio is an extraordinary student who exudes artistic flair, creativity, intelligence, and insatiable curiosity. With a mind that consistently seeks new knowledge and experiences, he approaches every subject with an open and inquisitive nature. Radio's commitment to truth and authenticity sets him apart as he consistently remains genuine and transparent in all his interactions. His kindness extends to everyone he encounters, creating an inclusive and supportive environment. As he looks forward to his journey at Evergreen State College in the fall, Radio's unique, unique combination of artistic talent, intellectual prowess, and compassionate spirit will undoubtedly lead him to make a profound impact both in his chosen field and in the lives of those around him. David Reyes. There was a notable shift in David's mindset about himself and his future after he successfully curated and installed the gallery at Nepantla Cultural Arts this spring. It was this moment that David understood his vast potential as an artist. Beyond his talent behind the camera lens, David possesses genuine interest in learning about others, making connections, and embracing the world with an insatiable curiosity. He approaches life with an open mind, eagerly seeking new experiences and knowledge. David's ability to both give and receive inspiration freely cultivates a vibrant and collaborative environment wherever he goes. Known for his gentle and kind nature, he radiates positivity and maintains a great attitude that uplifts those around him. This summer, David will use his photographic skills to explore his family heritage in the mountains of Oaxaca. And afterwards, David will attend Evergreen State to continue to pursue photography and ethnic studies. Natalie Hunt. <laughs> Natalie's early career exploration focused on architecture and landscape architecture. She had a series of projects and internships focused on elements of these fields. This year, Natalie's senior thesis project was history-based as she is considering a career in teaching. Her focus was on World War II, initially taking the perspective of the Japanese with a round of research and writing a paper. She then shifted to a U.S. perspective, including insights into the process involved in the U.S. joining the war, the contribution of the Navajo people as code talkers in the military, 
and explored issues of race that influenced soldiers' participation in the war. She also took a running start class focused on US history of this period. She plans to continue this exploration in the fall, studying history at Highline College. Nolan Wimberly. And also by association, Miss Sarah Wimberly. Come on, boys, give Sarah a shout out. Come on, shout out to Sarah. <laughs> Nolan embodies the qualities of a generous friend, bringing laughter, boldness, and outspokenness to any gathering. His sharp wit and humor have the ability to light up a room and create lasting memories. Beyond his vibrant personality, Nolan excels academically, particularly in the sciences and marine biology. His keen intellect and passion for understanding the intricate workings of the natural world drive him to pursue his studies with dedication and enthusiasm. As he prepares to embark on his journey at Pacific Lutheran University in the fall, Nolan's combination of academic prowess, charismatic nature, and unwavering dedication promises an exciting future filled with impactful contributions to the scientific community and meaningful connections with those around him. Jalen Diamond Swanson. <laughs> Jalen embodies the qualities of a true friend, possessing an infectious sense of humor that brings joy to those around him. With a genuine interest in social justice, Jalen's curiosity and drive to understand the intricacies of society set him apart. He is constantly seeking opportunities to expand his knowledge and engage in meaningful discussions that promote positive change. As he embarks on his journey to Pacific, Uni Pacific Lutheran University, Jalen's magnetic personality, dedication to social justice, and mad dance skills are sure to make a lasting impact on both his peers and the wider community. Michael Meredith. I'm fine. Mikey is carrying on a sort of family tradition at Big Picture. Both his brother and sister graduated from the school. Mikey's interests have varied widely from bicycles to construction trades, education to welding, World War II to psychology. He has had a great depth of learning. COVID was a significant disruption to his schooling, but he overcame the struggles and really showed up for a one year, creating a final project providing training to the big picture staff on how adverse childhood experiences impact young learners and how to support traumatized students. Mikey plans to take a gap year before studying psychology at Central Washington University. Kevin Matson. Yeah. Kevin fearlessly carves his own path in life. As a self motivated learner, he possesses an insatiable thirst for knowledge and constantly seeks opportunities to expand his horizons. 
A self-taught engineer, Tevin's relentless drive and determination have allowed him to master complex technical concepts independently. Beyond his academic pursuits, Tevin is a steadfast friend and classmate, always there to support and uplift others. With his unmistakable presence, his Honda announces his arrival and departure with style. <laughs> Tevin's passion for languages led him to teach himself Japanese, showcasing his dedication and adaptability. His great sense of humor brings joy to those around him, and his strong leadership qualities make him a natural guide and mentor. Tevin's have an unwavering commitment to forging his own path, paired with his remarkable talents and interpersonal skills, is a testament to his potential for great success and impact in whatever he sets his sights on. I want to give one more shout out to a student who was part of our senior class all year, joining us, I think, late last year, earlier, earlier this year, um, who formally graduated from New Start this year, Gabrielle Darling. And I also want to take a moment to congratulate the recipients of the Washington State Seal of Biliteracy, Stephanie Alconini Castillo, <laughs> Tevin Matson, <laughs> and Ivan Medina Martinez. Uh, Superintendent Duran, I hereby certify that each student before you has met all of the graduation requirements set forth by Highline Public Schools in the state of Washington. It is my pleasure to present to you the 2023 graduating class of Big Picture High School. Thank you, Principal Petty. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Highline Public Schools and the authority that is vested to us by the State of Washington, I proudly accept the senior class of Big Picture 2023. Much success and congratulations to all of you. Class of 2023, we're so proud of you. Congratulations, families. And I want to invite McKenna up to lead the turning of the tassels. All right, class of 2023, you may now stand with me. All right, and turn your tassel. Uh, right to left. Okay, the seniors are going to process out. I want to clarify. Grades 6 to 11 at Big Picture, please stay seated until the graduates and families have exited. The bus arrives at 2.15. And students who have siblings who graduated can leave with their family rather than going back to school if that works best for you. Thank you so much for coming.